the students, you are welcome to Federal Government College for TACOP e-learning platform. My name is Mr. Wogugu Goodnex, your civic education teacher. Today we'll be considering the topic, traffic regulation. Objectives. By the end of the lesson, you should be able to define traffic regulation, explain traffic regulation rules, state road signs, explain the role of individuals and government in maintaining traffic regulation. That will take us to the definition of regulation, traffic regulation. Traffic regulation, as the name implies, can be defined as the rules and regulations which guide the behavior or action of the road user in order to prevent accident and enhance free flow of human and vehicular movement. Road users include vehicles, drivers, cyclists, and uh, pedestrians. Traffic regulations rules. Here we are looking at the principles, rules, and regulations, norms, and values that guide the road. They include the following. Number one. Obeying traffic officials, road users should know that traffic officials are on essential duty and must obey them for easy flow of traffic. 2. Obedience to traffic signs. All road users are expected to obey the light by adhering to the color such as red means stop, yellow means get ready, green means go. 3. Do not drink and drive. Road users should always avoid alcohol before and while driving. This is of the view that road users, more especially drivers, should be in their right sense of mind before driving. Taking in any substance by any means could as well lead to accident. So it is very, very important that you drive with clear mindset in order not to destroy lives or properties. Four, cyclists should wear crash helmets. Crash helmet serves as a protective measure while driving in order not to fall or incur accident of any kind. This will protect the head, which is the most delicate part of the body. This is also applicable to horse riders. Yes, cyclists here include the motorcyclist machine and also bicycle, including horse riders. The idea or the policy on crash helmet should be strictly adhered to so that paraventure consciously or unconsciously one falls from the machine or cyclist or the host the person will not be affected badly on his or her head for vigilance Pedestrians should look before crossing the road. Why vehicles are expected to stop for pedestrians to pass when on a zebra crossing? Yes, pedestrians should look very well. Remember that the, ve that the road, you are not the only one. And vehicles can come or cross at any time. So you should be very, very careful. Why vehicles should also maintain the fact that those signals, like zebra crossing, uh, school crossing, and all that, should be strictly obeyed. Once you get to such point, you should at least reduce your speed in order not to harm anybody. Number six, speed limit. All road users should observe the stipulated speed limits 
that are favorable for safety. Yes, you as an individual or a road user should be mindful of the speed limit. Don't accelerate more than the stipulated speed limit in order not to destroy life or destroy properties. So you should be very, very careful and conscious. That will not take us to road signs. Road signs are symbols which help road users gain full information about road in order to avoid accidents. These signs are grouped into regulatory signs. These are signs which tells you about regulations you must follow and obey. They are mostly in circular in shape of two types which include prohibitive sign and mandatory sign. Prohibitive signs. These signs are circular in shape with red and yellow color. Mandatory signs are in blue color. Examples are stop signs, one-way traffic signs, and speed limit signs, ETC. Two, warning signs. Warning signs are those signs that indicate a hazard ahead on road that may not be easily or readily apparent to a driver. These are usually in triangle shape with red parameter, but some warning signs have in inverted triangles which indicate yield or give way. Now, number three, road marking. These are lines and symbols on the road where you may overtake other vehicles, which lane is used for turning and where you must stop for signs or other traffic signs. All the traffic signs inform road users on the spatial danger and other road conditions either within or ahead of the road these signs are symbols are of different shape to suggest different signals with different colors now all these symbols signs are meant for direction and is expected that the road users adhere to it strictly and some of those uh, road signs are these ones he here by my left side we have the zebra crossing where pedestrians move a sign that indicates that pedestrians are moving why other ones here other symbols here have their their hashtags such as railway road school crossing traffic light roundabout and bomb ahead they have their various signs and symbols and it's expected that all road users are to adhere to it strictly that will not take us to the role of government in maintaining traffic regulations. The role of government in maintaining traffic regulations include the following. It is the responsibility of the government to introduce periodic vehicle inspection and combine with frequent random checking of vehicles on the road. Yes, the government have the responsibility to inspect vehicles make sure that vehicles that are on our roads are road worthy there are some vehicles that should be off the road in order to have safety there are some vehicles that may not really make good uh, road uh, good road movement rather they will be causing traffic 
and all that because they will keep breaking down due to the nature of the vehicle and the because the life expectancy of that vehicle has also worn out such road such vehicle should be uh, should be declared out of road or should be put aside from the road in order not to take lives or properties now number two providing sufficient well trained traffic personnel to deal effectively with road safety and violation including traffic education in school curriculum where the road safety skill can be taught yes the government is actually responsible for for providing sufficient not just sufficient alone well-trained traffic officials who will be out there to maintain effective safety on the road and also punish all road violators and also it is the responsibility of the government to also introduce safety traffic education in school curriculum which they have just done it is already embedded in the curriculum this topic did not just emanate from your teacher mr goodness it is already in your scheme of work and the essence of teaching you or bringing this uh, topic is to enable you have pre information of what are obtainable in our roads because if one is not informed he or she is deformed three government should enhance systematic identification and treatment of hazardous locations on the road to avoid road crashes yes it is also the responsibility of the government to provide good roads and also make sure that the little potholes on our roads will be given an urgent attention in fixing them so that those little potholes will not turn to uh, or deteriorate to a point where lives or properties will be uh, involved number four timely and properly treating road casualties as a way of reducing the severity of injury to crashes yes it is within the ambit of the government to curtail the much protocols that have been observed by road victims in public hospitals in order to give road victims quick attention to resuscitate them and keep them going the protocol of requesting for police clearance and certain amount of money before treating the victim should be abolished police protocol or police clearance or that of the B or adverse payment should be a secondary matter the life of the innocent citizen should be rescued first before any other thing we also looked at the role of individuals and non-governmental organizations in maintaining road traffic regulations government alone cannot handle all road safety matters effectively Improving road safety requires the participation of all the citizens in following ways. So it is expected that government cannot do it alone. Now, citizens, patriotic citizens are expected to do their own contribution for us to have road safety through the following way. Helping the government and her agencies in public enlightenment campaign on road safety measures 
yes public enlightenment public education campaign getting the people informed on the consequences and the need why they should obey traffic regulations two providing succor or assistance to road victims yes is expected that citizens can as well contribute their own quota by assisting the road victims helping them not when you observe uh, a, a, an accident you will just go your way because your siblings or your relations are not affected no it's expected that if there is an occurrence of that we should assist not only that those in the hospital which can as well go and also show them love and also assist them, assist them in one way or the other three helping to mount road signs and marks to give guidelines to road users yes marking of roads and the mounting road signs is expected of the citizens or individuals or non-governmental organizations to do that the reason being that government cannot do it alone four discuss the consequences of disobeying traffic guidelines at home as a way of conscious sensitization to everybody yes this is of the view that if one is informed of a consequence of an issue the tendency of obeying to the regulations will be uh, uh, easily done so here individuals can as well get their neighbors get their family members informed about the consequences of disobeying the guidelines of road traffic or traffic regulation the consequences so that we we'll keep being in safety five donate blood to victims of road accidents yes it is expected that individuals can as well donate blood or even pay for a blood that will be used to resuscitate or revive a victim you can assist in that manner you can give money for it so that if the blood is being transfused you can still have the person back to life so all these are the role of individuals in maintaining traffic regulations now that will take us to the assignment explain four role of the citizens in maintaining traffic regulation in nigeria explain four rules of citizens in maintaining traffic regulations in nigeria two highlight three traffic regulation rules three design traffic regulation thank you very much for being there i wish you all the best have a wonderful day